I thought it was like crazy impressive that you dropped an original song at debut because mm. we we're all like, you know, management's good and they're like telling us about yeah. like, oh, like, you know, you get that original. Do you want mm. to start working on it? And and our manager, my manager, in mm. particular was just like, you have to you have to start now cuz it could take up to right. a year. Right. Yeah, yeah. To get yeah, an original yeah. out. <laughs> you uh -huh. literally dropped one at debut, which is just like how? how? Like can you walk us through like how did you how did you do that so quickly? Listen, and like, how, like... listen, I'll walk you through the process and the way I got it laid down to me. Yeah, please. I woke up. <laughs> Holy fuck, I got in. <laughs> <laughs> ne next day, meeting. Haka, what what do you want to do for your debut? And I was like, I want to do an original song. And they're like, uh -huh. oh, what a coincidence. I was going to suggest that too. Really? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically, like, since I, you know, I, I'm not a professional by by any means at all. Uh, I'm not a professional dude. at all. Oh but God. like, I am very, very, when I have a dr drive, when I have drive for something, uh -huh. I make sure I accomplish it, like, no matter what, like, that's like, something that I like a lot about myself mm -hmm. is that when I'm very inspired, and when I have like, I'm very tunnel vision to something I want, right? And basically, like, we started with the whole concept of, like, you know, my lore. I have a bunch of, like, demons inside of me because I'm an exorcist. And I'm, like, mm. cursed with, like, the Karasu Tengu Deira, right? Yeah. And it's just, like, the, there's a whole, like, beast dormant inside of me. That's basically, like, the whole aspect of, like, my character. It's, like, ironic. It's, like, you know, freaking, like, Eren. Like, he hates titans, but he's a freaking titan himself. Yeah, yeah. And stuff like that. So I was, like, that's fucking ironic. I love it. <laughs> and that's, that, yeah, yeah. That's basically how I started, like, like the journey of, like, self-acceptance with the demon and the beast inside of me. Mm -hmm. And that is basically what Raven's Paradigm is. You know, basically, it just it shows you, like, how I came to recognition with my inner power. And then how I was uh, satisfied with it. But then it basically took out everything I loved. Mm -hmm. And then I fought with it. I argued with it. But then I was like, you know what? At this fucking point, let's just work together. Like, there's no going back. Like, you and I have to become one now. And that's how I started, like, the whole, like, lore and the premise of the song. So, mm -hmm. After so you started I have... with the story that you were trying to tell with the Yeah, the song. I started with a concept. Yeah, I started with oh. a concept. And then I reached out to, you know, a couple of producers. I, I, I really enjoy their works and stuff like that. So I was just like, okay, so this is the topic of the song that I want. And I basically, we worked together in the composition of, like, how would it go? I wrote a couple of the lyrics. I wrote the lyrics for the breakdown, actually. Mm -hmm. So we just made it work. Like, we had a really good, like, synergy while working on the song. And I'm actually very, very happy that people liked it. Because, like, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I thought it was at amazing. At the very yeah. beginning. Thank you. Yeah. At the very beginning, I was, like, shit in my pants. Because it's just, like, <laughs> oh, my God. Like, but, yeah, that's that's basically how, how it all started. Like, I like we worked together, and I, I released the song. I was shit in my pants because I was, like, worried about, like, the first impression that I was mm -hmm. going to give to people. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to grab life by the balls. Like, I want to be who I want to be. I want to yeah. be what I want to be. And I basically just went ahead and like, that was like the first thing you heard on my debut. Yes. And I just wanted to cause like the, uh, an impression. Can I, can I ask like, um, when you were having that, uh, you were, you were like, you had to make a decision, right? Whether to just go mm. with what you wanted to make and what you did and like what mm -hmm. you thought was like, quote unquote, acceptable or, or safe mm -hmm. or what was that path like what type of music video original would you have made like if you went like the safe the safe route yeah i would have made probably like a generic like j-rock song like a like oh. a like or, or like a j-pop song like our generic like idol music don't get me wrong i freaking love idol music you i do. love yeah like, I, I love i love character songs yeah like for example whenever i say you sing and all that like i just fucking go nuts because like the the whole like aspect of singing in character uh -huh. especially now that i have flair in my life like i've just <laughs> found a new newfound passion for voice acting yeah, yeah and the fact that you can voice act as a character you can sing as that character it's like fucking crazy mm -hmm. so i'll probably go with like a like a regular like character song ah. sound usually from anime lots of animes have those and yeah. that's probably what i would have gone through but i just decided to like show who i am show the real side of myself with like my music taste and i'm actually very happy that you guys supported that a lot yeah, yeah, and you could always make a you could, could always make like a J Rock character oh, style, yeah, like idol song totally. in the future. Mm -hmm. It's just like for that first song. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> you have the talent to do that at any time yeah. you want to. But like the you wanted to open with like something that was more like 
right re representative of you right and mm -hmm. more like unique exactly yeah because it's a matter of showing your strengths you know showing yeah. your strengths yeah so I people agree. can actually be like oh wow like he's good at this like yeah. i can't wait to listen to him improve more and more and more i think you made the right like decision that. it was good yeah thank you thank you i was really i struggle a lot with self-doubt i'll be honest with you like that's like the that's like oh. my biggest enemy self-doubt and stuff like that but i always stay true to myself can i can i ask like just one more little part about the uh, the original like can, mm -hmm. can you give us like a like how long did it take start to finish to to do the production of it um any like mm -hmm. anything you want to like note it's like it, it did it went well it was really good quality because of like this or this like that mm -hmm. i did because definitely like people said like at earliest six months to do an original yeah yeah realistically it, it, one year mm -hmm. i don't I, maybe you did but my gut instinct is you did not have six months to do like that i like i, I had like two months <laughs> you finished an original in two months so I was told uh, six months at the earliest and you finished it one third of the time. Like that's, that's incredible, right? Like, or yeah. I mean, the thing is that, I don't know. I, 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 I hate, like, I, I don't want to brag or anything, but like, please, I am a very, please be frank. I, I please. am. Yeah. I am very sure about the, what I want to do. Like, mm -hmm. I am very, like, 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 straight to the point. Like, like I said, very tunnel vision on it. So, I already had, like, while this was happening, I had a concept in mind, and I facilitated to my producer as mm -hmm. much input I could give. So, for example, that and plus their gigantic brain that literally make this come to life. Mm -hmm. uh, we worked really well. So, like I said, like, if there's, a, 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 if there's something I value, if there's, like, a, my core is communication. Communication can literally change everything like this. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we communicated very well, we meshed ideas, we merged a lot of ideas. Management was just like staring at it and it was like, whoa, <laughs> how is this happening? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I don't know. It's like, just, it's just like, be true to yourself. Uh, do what you want to do. And if you're having fun, literally, it doesn't matter how long it will take. If you're having fun, things that can take a century to be done can take literally hours to be oh. done when you're having fun. So I that's mean, the, that's like the uh, perspective I like to give it. Open communication with the people that you're working with. Also, like, it sounds like delegation, right? Like you, you yeah, yeah, were yeah, working yeah, with yeah. people that were good off the bat and like you knew that mm -hmm. and then you could trust them and you weren't like looking over their shoulder. They were just like right. getting stuff done really quickly and then like mm -hmm. the communication. Okay. Okay. And also management did that with me because like, Absolutely. you know, yeah. usually like when, when, when big like projects like this happen, like we kind of have to like eggshell everything mm -hmm. and be careful about certain stuff. But they were just impressed. Like, holy fuck. Well, how's this guy like handling this by himself? You know, it's, <laughs> it's stuff like that. Of course they helped a shit ton. I'll be honest with you. They helped so much and I'm like super, super grateful. Uh, but it's just like, I don't know. It's like, I really, I'm really passionate about like the things and the projects I want to do. So if I have a project in mind, do you know that I'll put like literally like a million percent of it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do think I get the, I get the feeling that like the thing that you're super good at, like in general, not just like music, but is like execution, mm. which is like a lot of people like cannot execute. They just like, <laughs> they get an idea and then they kind of lose interest and then they don't finish it. But like, you're like the type of person that like executes, which is like an extremely, yeah, it's pretty it, rare. Like not, not all the time though. Don't get me wrong. Cause like, I, like, like I told you the other day, like my brain is filled with an insane amount of ideas, uh -huh. but put me in front of a piano. I'll play a little like twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh -huh. Cause like, <laughs> I, I like, <laughs> I'm an ideas guy yet, like yeah. like for now. I'm an ideas guy, but I'm slowly working into the into like the form that I can basically write demos by myself to make oh. my producer's job even easier. You know? Interesting. <laughs> oh, so it's not just like the producers, like you. Oh, we were talking about this before we went live. That like yeah, you, yeah, you're yeah, good yeah, at back yeah. end production as well. So like you can talk with the producer and you can talk mm -hmm. with the terminology and the lingo that they right. use and you could even yeah, do a demo yeah, and yeah, they look yeah, at it yeah, yeah, so yeah. from the perspective produ producer's perspective it's just like oh like it's like half done already boom and then mm -hmm. they get that. oh yeah okay. so, something like that it's just a matter of like refining like the like semi-final product and with a lot of ideas and a lot of input like yeah. we can make it a perfect product now damn that's like super impressive that's definitely, yeah. I think, the secret sauce to finishing an original in two months. <laughs> the fact that, like, you are also, like, you could be a producer, like, if you weren't, like, absolutely cracked at the singing aspect. 
You can also be a producer. I, I want to be a producer. That's really? like one of like like the goals I have to be able to self produce. Huh. Like I want to self produce a song of my uh from scratch everything huh. i want to do the vi i want to do the art i want to do the video i want to do the singing i want to do the mixing i want to do the producing that's like my personal Damn. project i want to self-produce an entire song or cover by myself what the heck i would love to see that oh my god yeah it's it's a journey for sure though yeah like and you guys are still settling in so definitely like you have bigger stuff on your plate but maybe by like one mm. year when everything is like oh yeah routine. definitely yeah i would I would love to watch that. That would be incredible. Hell Please yeah. It's like completely produced by like one person at mm -hmm. like at like the Hollow Stars level, right? Like, right. Because yeah, you yeah, have yeah, a team yeah, of people yeah. that can do that for you mm -hmm. with management, but like you just decide to do it all yourself. And it's just like, that's incredible. Yeah. It's like, I just like, I like to get inspired by them. Like, honestly, like without them, we also wouldn't be here. For sure. So, yeah. so the fact that they're like super hardworking, they're like super, you know, like they are very like focused on what they do mm. really gives you the drive to also make this work, you know? Like, yeah, I'm yeah. just like, holy fuck. Like, they're so inspiring. I want to try this too and stuff like that. So incredible. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very inspiring. I started working on my second original song about i want to say two months ago when i knew that my birthday was coming up i was just like i have to make a second original song <laughs> so i did it it's out shatter wings you guys are probably wondering what the heck is shatter wings about it has a bit of a personal message i'll be honest with you it has a bit of a personal message in the aspect that uh, it's based on the practice of Kintsugi, which is basically repairing glass with gold. And how I see the meaning of shatter wings is that it doesn't matter how shattered my wings are. It doesn't matter how broken I am. You guys are the gold that repair me. You guys are the gold that basically fixes me. And that's what I also want to be with you guys. <laughs> it basically means that these hands that were created to destroy are also meant to fix that it doesn't matter how rough we are with ourselves it doesn't matter how hard things go we can always fix it and sometimes in order to be fixed we have to be broken and that's why we're here 